Somebody who's a longtime resident here one time quipped to me, everybody knows about Vegas. Very few people know about Las Vegas. And Las Vegas to me has been this very wonderful, rich, lovely community. People of faith, deep values, very strong Catholic community, welcoming people. I've liked everything I've seen about it. Well, the Diocese of Las Vegas is one of the youngest dioceses in the United States. We have a, a short but pretty colorful past. It's a community that is marked by diversity. The bulk of our parishes are in the greater metro area. We also have rural communities, very rich array of cultural communities, people from Mexico, Central, Latin America, a lot of people from the Philippines and from uh, Vietnam. There are 58 languages spoken in this diocese, and their particular charisms are well celebrated, involved in, in very meaningful ways in the church. Some of the challenges, of course, are we are a diocese that's growing very, very quickly. It's a community of golden opportunity, a lot of employment opportunities, still affordable housing. And in my opinion, some of the greatest needs we're gonna be facing will be dealing with this exponential growth in the years ahead. Well, it goes without saying that the Catholic Church, the Catholic parish, is built around the Eucharist. It's described as the source and summit of the life of the Church. And so without an ample number of priests to serve the communities, we have trouble meeting the sacramental needs of our people. So I would say right at the, the top of my list, one of the primary priorities is to raise up new vocations to priesthood and religious life. We have a lot of very hardworking, dedicated priests presently in our diocese, but not enough. We give God thanks, especially for the gift of our seminarians who are responding to their call from Christ to serve His church. It's my hope and my expectation that this community will give birth to new vocations to priesthood and religious life. It's my prayer. Secondly, we need to have large numbers of well-prepared Catholic laity serving alongside the clergy. Pope Benedict describes them as a cadre of people co-missioned with the priest to serve in the name of the gospel of Christ. So we also need to have adult formation and education. We need to find ways to reach out to the youth and the young adults in new ways. Cue the video! I'd also go on to say that one of the hidden treasures that we have in the diocese is found in our Catholic schools. We've got two extraordinary Catholic high schools now, Gorman High School, of course, and Crystal Ray. We also have six elementary schools, very strong academic records. They have a deep commitment to Catholic identity and mission. They are values-based. They teach our children about sacraments and the life of the church, prayer life. It's the gift that keeps on giving. And I really hope and pray that families will discover or rediscover the treasure of Catholic schools right here in our front yard. Another really big challenge, and this is a heavy burden for all of us, in the midst of prosperity, there are also significant numbers of poor and homeless people. The Catholic Church, most especially Catholic Charities, is a very major player in all of this in addressing some of the complex issues like homelessness, addictive disorders, mental illness. At the bottom of Catholic social teaching is a main foundation plank, and that is that every person is made in God's image. No throwaway people, no cast off souls. We see every person as precious, every person as made in God's image, and the church should always have a preferential option for the poor. This Diocese of Las Vegas, spread across 34,000 square miles, 750,000 strong, speaking 58 languages, but all of us, members of the church that is unified by Christ and rests upon the shoulders of the apostles. Let the quality of mercy fall like rain from heaven in your lives, in your parishes, and certainly in this diocese. The psalmist said it forcefully and well, give thanks to the Lord for his good and his mercy endures forever and ever.